Poor the brothers bond. See around you drives me nuts. Is the pug snoring? Nothing around you drives me nuts. Grab your wine glass and sit with your sweetie. Time to listen to Ash and the titular PD. Drunk. Like I got a traveler in me. Need to feed on blood like I'm addicted to type B. It's not a type O, I'm type A on the flow. Ties a hype beast, put a chain on the dough. Roll up the vervain, wolf spain in the cup. Turn my humanity off, not giving up. Heck. Other side sucking people up like twisters. Bonnie's the anchor. Jeremy's gonna miss her. The bro swap places Rick's back in the mix. What's gonna happen on Van PD season six? How is the summer almost over? And yet, I feel like I got nothing Hello, welcome back to the Vampiti Diaries, the Vampire Diaries podcast where a guy is watching the series for the first time with a super fan who has seen every episode. I'm the titular PD, let's just say I put the PD in Vampiti, but please maul please ma- me, Pete. <laughs> You're not small. <laughs> I said maul. Uh, please small. Please small, can I have some more? <laughs> <laughs> please call me Pete. <laughs> Here's my number, please call me Petey. And I'm here, all right, please call me Pete, and I'm here with my co-host and co-parent Ash. Hello, Ash. Hello, it's me. <laughs> Ash, we're back, back again. Tell yep. your co-workers, tell your friends. Oh, yeah. Um, season six. Mm-hmm. There's some excitement this season. Oh, yeah. For sure. Ash, let's talk about the new theme song. I love it. Your thoughts. Are you sitting with your sweetie? Yep. <laughs> I love the new theme song. It's so great. I listened to it like a million times. I've listened to it many, many times. I had fun creating it. We also listened back to the previous, what, five theme songs? Mm -hmm. There's definitely been an evolution, a progression. Yeah, it's fun to listen to them, like, back to back and see how they lead into the next and, and, like, get a little better each time. For sure. Um, And if anyone wants to send comments... About the theme song, what they like, what they dislike. Yeah, not what they dislike, because who cares? <laughs> but what about, like, your favorite one so far? Or, like, do you have a favorite line? Yep. We did, over the... We had a little hiatus. We did get a DM from mm-hmm. a listener. And uh, it was exciting that we got a DM. I mean, we got so many messages. <laughs> but... Uh, we finally had time to read them. Yeah, but <laughs> thank you for reaching out. The person who reached out on Instagram... We went back and forth a little bit. Because you know what? If you're respectful, we're going to go back and forth a little bit. Yeah, we'll say what's up. And we're we're excited to hear from people who listen. And when we get feedback, it's usually good feedback. And we like we enjoy that. Yeah. If it's not good, don't send it. (laughs) (laughs) Ash. Just thank you, by the way, for doing the theme songs. Oh, yeah. I guess, I don't know what we would do. We would have just the same one or whatever, but... I know it's exciting for you to write anything. You, you're just a writer, so coming up with a song is another type of writing, and I'm glad it's fun for you, but it's really fun for me, and I'm glad we get to have different ones for different seasons. Yes, it's one of my favorite parts of the pod, and uh, it, gets, it itches that scratch and it flexes that muscle. <laughs> Of making a little song and doing a little rap. Yeah, it's fun. It's so fun. And putting some little sound effects and getting clips, getting uh-huh. sound effects. Yeah, also if people think of a good clip we should use, that would be good. Oh, yeah. A little sound bite. Hit me with the clips for sure. <laughs> <clears throat> Ash, this is exciting news. We have a sponsor this season. Oh, we do? Ash, you've used language learning apps in the past, correct? And if you have, which I know you have, don't say their names. Okay, but I have. <laughs> it seems like there are more language learning apps than you can shake a stick at. The Vernacula app is the latest and best system to make you fluent in the language of your choice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> French, Spanish, Latin, Aramaic, Turkish, Slavic, and more. That sounds pretty good. You'll use bite-sized lessons to learn to speak like your second language is your native tongue. And using this app is never a pain in the neck. It's free. (laughs) You don't need a credit card to start. And you never have to enter any intrusive data like your ASL. Remember that? (laughs) Yes. Mother's maiden name or your blood type, Ash. Oh, good. Start a free trial of the Vernacula app now. With the promo code PD. <laughs> That's our new sponsor. That's fun. And, you know, they've committed to many episodes. Oh, okay. So, so um, we'll get a lot of plugs. We'll probably be plugging the Vernacula <laughs> app 
pretty often. All right, say. I'm going to have to download it and check it out. I would say so. I already downloaded it. I'm having quite the time learning. A what new... language are you learning? Um, it's just, it's, I, I'm just kind of dabbling right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't have just, to keep us updated. Yeah, just kind of sampling, you know, <laughs> dipping into Spanish a little bit and some of the love languages. <laughs> <laughs> Ash. What's up? But we're back. We're back, back again. Season six, episode one. The title is I'll Remember. Mm-hmm. And Ash, what do you remember from last season? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Ash, of course, everything went down with the travelers. Every single thing is happening the, always. The other side. You know, and Damon and Bonnie. Um, Damon and Bonnie are R.I.P. as we know it. Um, on the other side, yeah. Alara came back. Tyler Rick, came back. Rick is back in the mix. Ty is back. Different people can't go into uh, Mystic Falls right now, but we'll get into it. Mm-hmm. They have a, a narration from Elena at the top of the episode and then narration from Caroline at the end. Yeah, what is this? Some kind of vampire's diary? Right? <laughs> Ash, the cold open. Oh, and remember our patented segment. Oh, yeah. Burr. Burr. We're in Mystic Falls, VA. There's a Chiron that says <laughs> Mystic Falls, VA. VA. Virginia. I thought I thought the year was gonna pop up too. Oh. Mm-hmm. But um, I guess it was just present day. Yeah. Um, there are some people making out in a tent. They there's a spooky noise. This girl has a Nev Campbell face. You said. Yeah, she does. And um. So she went, he stayed. Yeah, they were like, no, you check it out, no, you. And then finally she went. I'm like, man, I would have been like, come with me at least. Right. What's he just creeping? He's back in the tent? He's just chilling. Um, she goes to turn on their lantern, but it's Forbes who scares her and is yeah. like, hey, stop yeah. making out in there. You got, put, and, and she found like a beer can or put whatever. Put the beers away. And... Um, she thought uh, this young woman, Jesse, is she named Jesse or is it a guy named Jesse? I don't, we don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're both named Jesse. Maybe they were like, hey, what's up? Like they were at a bar, like, hey, what's up? Or maybe are they in high school? I don't know. They were just on a hike and they met each other. Yeah, and they're like, hey, what's your name? Jesse, what? My name's Jesse too. And that's kind of their meet cute. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that has happened before. And now. M E A T cute. <laughs> now that they're dead, right? Spoiler. <laughs> For the cold open. <laughs> For moments later. Yeah, because you jumped ahead. <laughs> okay. So Forbes scares her. She thought she was a serial killer, but Forbes is like, well, you'll still be alive when I call your parents instead of a serial killer who would kill you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, There's a you are now leaving Mystic Falls sign, Mm -hmm. which we know from last season. There's a barrier. Right. So. uh, Where the traveler spell stopped. This place is turning into the town from Footloose, (laughs) which in that town they didn't like dancing. But in this town, there's no vampires. So I don't really get the. (laughs) I guess it's more like you're kind of just shut off from the world in a way. Mm hmm. Right. But yeah, they can still dance. <laughs> All right, so Jesse disappears. That's one of them, <laughs> for sure. She gets thrown onto the car. She's bit up, and then they look up, and a long-haired someone jumps from the trees. Right. When you saw this originally, mm-hmm. who, did you think it was just going to be like a new character or what? Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't think it was going to be Elena on a drug trip. I know. That's wild. Another spoiler for later. But I assume if you are listening to this, you've watched the show. And if you haven't, then um, you'll have fun watching it later. (laughs) Yeah, now you know what's going to (laughs) happen. All right, Ash, just like in the theme song, Elena's like, it was all summer and I didn't get anything done or whatever. Uh Uh-huh. This season also starts at the end of the summer. (laughs) Summer is officially over. Uh, It's sophomore year. I um, I think every... I think truly every season. We don't get to see we summertime. We don't get to see summertime. The vampires don't like the summertime. 
too no, much. No, they just they start a new school year, and for us, like as the viewer, when it aired, mm-hmm. it wasn't airing in the summer, so then it's like True. the time was the same. You know, like you go through like your own school year at the same time they're going through theirs. Yeah, they have the Halloween party. Yeah, it, ma- it matches up. Like, if you weren't streaming it or whatever, like if right. you watched it originally. Yeah, they try and do that. <clears throat> Y'all, I keep yawning. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't <laughs> no, stop yawning. No, no one knows. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know. I, they should do... Oh, you like they did... Um, ba- Not Baywatch. They did... Um, Well, they did do Baywatch Nights. Mm-hmm. But they did Saved by the Bell... The college years? Yeah, yeah. They should do Vampire Diaries, Summer Heat, or something like that. Well, they even did Say by the Bell Summer, like when they went to the Malibu camp, Mm. and they worked there. Well, there you go. We should see a summertime vamp. Yeah, that yeah. Because they always talk about it. Oh, summer was the best. There was no drama. It's like the three months we don't see them or whatever, nothing has happened. But then they come back and literal hell breaks loose. Yes, which later Alark says it's been four months since all that stuff happened. But anyway, mm-hmm. all right, summer's over. Okay, so sophomore year, uh, Elena's not undeclared. No. She's pre-med. She's future Dr. Gilbert. She's in. She's uh, like doing the rounds as an intern or pre-med or whatever, and yeah. her her attending or whatever Mm -hmm. is sounds like you watched Grey's Anatomy (laughs) (laughs) I watched Scrubs (laughs) oh yeah true (laughs) is from She's All That Mm -hmm. and whatever it takes this actor from She's All That Mm -hmm. and whatever it takes and She's All That I know that she was uh, Matthew Lillard's um, love interest yeah that was an interesting pull for you because when I watched it I was like I just know Joe from the show, from this show. Like, I'm like, oh, I know her because I know Vampire Diaries. Oh. And then, oh, yeah, her name's Joe. And But you were, like, remembering her from a couple years before when she was in those oh, teen man. shows. And I was like, oh, that was her. Like, when I originally watched it, I didn't realize that was her. Yeah. Uh, Lillard's watching himself on Real, Real World, World. Yeah. And he's like, don't, like, get, um, don't get saliva on my abs or something like that oh gosh because <laughs> she's like li- licking him all over mm-hmm. um and then she's also in whatever it takes mm-hmm. a classic um shane west franco mashup mm-hmm. couldn't do that anymore <laughs> <laughs> couldn't mash those guys up anymore all right elena is also doing some witchcraft it looks like right she's doing medicines of Several types, <laughs> <laughs> or at least two. Right. Okay. That's true. But so it's kind of intercut, jumping around, and she gets some answer right in the in the attending in the rounds, doing all that. And um, Joe is like, "Yeah, you'll need to know that in a couple of years. Now you just need to know everything about a bedpan." I know, such a fry. Clean up this. Pee. It's like it's also like well then why'd you ask that question? Right. She was just trying to catch catch everybody. someone. Yeah, I feel like that is what it, at least in dramatic shows, attendings are always trying to catch somebody up to be like, well, anyways, to do my my, you know, the gross stuff. Right. Well, yeah. My like scut work or something. <laughs> I don't know. I, I know it. It's not. I almost said the other thing. <laughs> I don't want to help you with this one, but um. It's usually... Oh, no. Was she just expecting no one to get the answer right? And then be like, study harder. Yeah. Here's the bedpan. Like, but instead, she had to be like, well, someone read ahead. Yeah. Anyways, you won't need to know it for three years here, bedpan. She, no matter what, she wanted to get to that bedpan. Yeah, I she think. was going to say the bedpan no matter what. All right. I said that um, Elena impressed a thin hunk who we don't really see again. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I thought it was cool. I thought it was good. Okay, so now Elena has unlimited access to blood bags because she's at the hospital. Mm-hmm. Um, she's getting blood for Alaric and herself. Mm-hmm. Alaric is a professor at Whitmore. Yep. Teaching about the occult, like I a know. little on the nose. Super on the my nose. My friend. Yeah. Uh, he didn't. He couldn't teach about um, Mystic Falls history anymore. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was just doing local history. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, he was turned into a vampire by Esther, mm-hmm. the original witch. Yes. And all that stuff happened four months ago. They've been missing Bonnie, Damon, the rest for four months. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, not, not the rest, just they're only missing those two, and everyone's been back. What about Grams? Well, they didn't. What about <laughs> Lexi? But they passed on. They, like, they're not stuck. Right. Elena says Mystic Falls is still off limits to vampires and other spookies. <laughs> hey, by the way, we're in spooky season, Ash. I know. All right, that's why everyone is at Whitmore. But back in Mystic Falls, all the normies are, like, having a great time. Matt's in, like, a jogging club where they talk about saving people all the time. Yeah, it's like a neighborhood watch kind of thing. And I said that, remember Matt had like kind of a Mystic Falls, make Mystic Falls great again kind of <laughs> attitude? Mm-hmm. He's kind of leaning into that. He is, yeah. All right. He so, is. So all these fools haven't been back in months. Yeah, he's happy that there's not any supernaturals in there. Matt's on his jogging missions, and Jeremy is making out with somebody who... We don't get any info on. No, and, just random. And she doesn't return. She probably goes back to um, the Thin Hunks house <laughs> and they actually are <laughs> together or something. We don't know. Stefan is in Savannah, Georgia. Mm-hmm. Looking for a witch that can contact the dead. He is a mechanic now. We know he likes his classic cars. Yep. Caroline dropped out of Whitmore. Yeah, but isn't that a big shock, though? Yeah, she loves school. She loves school. And she loves to be, like, all school spirit. But that's how you can tell people are... uh, Grieving. Grieving. She loves school, but she's not in school. Elena hates taking drugs, and now she's taking (laughs) drugs. And Stefan loves compelling people, but he's not compelling people. Yeah, and Jeremy is... Being a couch potato, you know? Yep. People are going through it. We know Jeremy does like to do that, though. Mm, Caroline is having a picnic with Forbes on the outskirts of Mystic Falls. Again, everyone just hangs out by the sign, which you were talking about. I know. It's so silly. It's like they could go, like, to some other restaurant in a different town. But, I mean, Sheriff Forbes is, I guess, supposed to be close to the town because maybe she's working or whatever. Mm Mm-hmm. But... I mean, you don't have to eat next to the sign. I mean, there's 359 more degrees <laughs> of the circle right. that they could be at, I, I would guess. Right. But they picked no. that one we sign. we got to be by the sign so everyone knows that we're at the outskirts. Ty is attending Whitmore. Luke uh, is there as well. He was in the background of this shot where Ty was talking to Elena, mm-hmm. and he had a little piece of paper. Oh, was it the drugs? Mm, yes. Yeah. It was a little packet. Mm-hmm. And the, she was all the, like, no, no. Of the booger sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline is looking for a spell to get rid of the border spell. The Yeah, of the town. The magic magic. She wants Mystic Falls to go back to how it was. Elena wants Caroline to go to the Whitmore football game. Caroline talks to her mom about... The people um, getting sucked up like twisters <laughs> <laughs> to the on the other side. Caroline thinks Elena isn't grieving because she's chilled out. Well, like, it does seem that way. Like, I agree that she seems that way when she's like, let's go to this football game. And mm-hmm. she's just, oh, I'm going to go to class. And She's know. trying to move on, but she's, because she's uh, self-medicating. Right. Exactly. Two kids... Jesse and Jesse were admitted to the <laughs> hospital with suspicious bites. Mm-hmm. Um, Is that when Sheriff Forbes has to go? Yeah. Sometimes um, when our kids get fast food, there's some suspicious bites in those, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Vampires can lurk around the borders. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I used to see back when I used to go to a major bookstore also. <laughs> Vampires around the borders? Vampires were lurking around the borders. All right. They were browsing <laughs> in the magazine section. My magazines? They don't have a lot of um, patience for reading. 
not the they're not reading the horror autobiography section. Actually, they probably um, do have so much patience for reading. They're like, "What else are we gonna do?" And they're reading history books, and they're like, "That's not how it happened." That's not how it happened. My friend Abe, <laughs> you know, because they were there. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. Ash. Caroline tries to give her mom her picnic basket. She's like, wait, you forgot your picnic basket. And then she gets burnt. Yeah, her arm gets by burnt. Putting up. her arm over the border. Elena is doing witchcraft or something, I said. She drinks a concoction. She talks to Damon in the cemetery. I said, how? <laughs> <laughs> how is she doing this? <laughs> he has passed away. <laughs> and she like not just talking to him, but she's like Touching him and interacting with him and stuff. Mm-hmm. Little did I know. Right. That she had a little Mystic Falls marching powder. <laughs> <laughs> How many different names do you have for this? I don't know. I get two good ones so far. <laughs> um, let's see. What else is going on? What else is in the news? All right. Alaric is teaching about the occult. A little on the nose. Elena is ignoring... I feel like that's going to get you caught. You know? It's like... I'm a vampire, and I was made a vampire by the original witch, and I was on the other side, and blah, 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 and all my friends are supernatural. What should I do so I don't get caught? Hmm. Occult studies. Let, riddle me this, though. Did he maybe just take the position of Professor Who's-His Face who oh, yeah. got inhabited by Sil- Silas? Because that professor was teaching yeah. symbology or some... True, but don't you think that position would have been filled already? Who knows? I don't remember when exactly that was. Yeah. It was probably over a season ago or something. I mean, yeah, it could have been. Could have been taking that spot. I never thought about that, actually. And I forget exactly what class that guy was even teaching. But when he was helping Bonnie? Yeah. That seemed like hurting Bonnie? That seemed like a little side huss. I know, that guy was so annoying. An independent... (laughs) Stud E. <laughs> Wasn't she into him, right? Or no? Yeah. Okay. He's teaching on resurrection again. Mm-hmm. All right. Liv and Ty. And Liv is like, that's ironic because he was just resurrected. Mm-hmm. She's trying to act like she's one of these main characters now. I know. Liv and Ty are in the class. She's so smug all the time. Like, hmm. They have an annoyed liking each other relationship, Ash. Mm. I think they're going to do the will they, won't they like annoyed like what we're into each other that's lame yeah like the meat cute but it wasn't cute yeah like the meat mad <laughs> <laughs> they did a meat mad in this right like, that's the oh. thing they had a meat mad because ty and caroline aren't a thing right Cause right she's all mad at him and stuff well he was more so he was mad at her because she oh yeah hooked up with class all right Elena is drinking blood in the class, and then, like, a lark whispers to her about it, like, using, and she uses her vampire hearing or whatever. I know, but also he should have been mad that she was, like, blocking her area with her folder the whole time. Yeah. Like, Elena, pay attention. <laughs> She's just slurping her blood through, like, a oh, soft if, drink cup. What if she had a Stanley cup back then? Oh she would be God. ahead of the game. You don't even want to know how many second graders have Stanleys in my class. Oh, probably only the cool, the it's cool so ones. It's so weird. It's they're so huge. I'm like, what are you doing? It's probably yeah, like a third of their height. It is. It truly is. It's very goofy. That's silly. Um, it'd be better if she had a Yeti, <laughs> a Yeti cup. Those used to be popular, and also that's a monster. Mm-hmm. I like Yetis. Me too. All right, Elena, after class, says what's up to Luke. She's really thirsty. Luke hands over the um, (laughs) Bolivian um, vampire dust. I was going to say pixie dust. Oh, pixie dust is good. Yeah. But actually, they are psychotropic herbs, Ash. Mm -hmm. Speaking of podcast sponsors, seems like that would be something on Rogan's podcast. (laughs) Psychotropic herbs. Yeah, he does nootropic like mushrooms or something. I don't know. Oh. Some something that probably <laughs> I don't I will not be smirch. I don't know any of this stuff. Yeah, whatever. Um It's a it's to me the same as athletic greens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
don't say you can say I'll ask stuff. Don't say a different language learning. No, app, I, I don't know any other ones. Except for the one you use, and the new one that no, you're gonna. No, only the new one. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I I thought I tried one before, but I was lying. Uh, <laughs> you do not. Are you joking? I'm not joking. Okay, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> it was just such a bad, bad joke. It was just such a bad, bad lie. Oh, I was just nailing you down for it. <laughs> Hold on a second. Wait, but you what were you know. doing for over 200 days on that one that um, is out of date and definitely the new one? Vernacula is way better. Vernacula, of course. Yep. Um, vernacula. And uh, so, okay. <laughs> She, I said, I guess she's hallucinating to see Damon? Mm-hmm. That was my guess. I know, but it's a good hallucination because... You can touch that? You can touch that hallucination. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> it's like the uh, X-Men when they go into the war room or the battle room or whatever. What's that? Is that when they can put on the helmet? No, that's a different thing. I know. What's the war room? They go and practice in there. Like, in the cartoon, they would go and practice in there. And then, like, it would go... Like, they'd be fighting the Sentinels. Oh, like they do that in Hunger Games? Yeah. And they shoot the arrows, and they, like, fall the little pixels? Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm. 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 Training room. I think it was called the War Room or something. I forget. In X-Men. All right, but what's the... Is it Cerebro? Cerebro, yeah. 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 I know a thing. But, uh, yeah, they got those, uh, got those, those good herbs. Those good herbs. But Luke does if, some. If I died, would you take psycho, I mean, psycho, psychotropic <laughs> herbs to hallucinate me? For sure. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, Elena blames Luke for what? I don't know. But Luke does some exposition. <laughs> Wait. It's a big deal what she blames oh, him for. Oh, for the whole thing. <laughs> yes. For the whole thing that, that Damon and Bonnie are left oh, on the yeah. other side because Luke Liv, made... Liv was almost done with the spell, but she was going to probably die. And so he blew out all the candles, which yep. is the funniest way to make a big fuss. Like, mm-hmm. but, but the result of it was a big deal. But the fact that the way he did it was just blowing out the candles. Yeah. Oh, no. Ha. Huh. <laughs> right but she did it with a spell but still alright but so Luke drops that important nugget but mm-hmm. he also says he made a Larka's daylight bracelet cause we were all wondering about that yeah but like that's not a big deal anyways so okay yeah cause even though you came back from the other side you're still supernatural yes because Alaric died supernaturally, but Ty then went on the... Wait, what did happen to Ty? Something at the sign, remember? Yeah, he got his power stripped from him. From the... And that's how he died. Yeah, from the travelers. But he still has the werewolf gene. Right. And that's what we get into a little later. So he has that... um, So his is different than Alaric because Alaric still has his powers because he just was on the other side and came back. And, and Ty, Ty died. just has anger management issues. Yeah, like he used to. Ash, Luke is disobeying his coven. Right. <laughs> Ash, mm-hmm. big question for you. Have you ever disobeyed your coven? Never. Loyal to the end. To your whole coven? Mm-hmm. Sometimes I'm talking to these witches, Ash. <laughs> oh, yeah? How many witches are you talking to? <laughs> and then I'm like... Man, my coven's going to be mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be very true, actually. All right, Stefan. Okay, Stefan's yelling at uh, Dean. He's got beef with Dean, his boss. Mm-hmm. At the mechanic shop or whatever. So <laughs> Is that what it's called? A mechanic shop? Yeah, like a body shop. Yeah, but it, mechanic and body. shop to me don't sound like they should be. Do the same. body shop. Oh, yeah, love that song. <laughs> Um, Stefan says that he's, not. <laughs> says a zero fell off his paycheck, but then like he, the Dean says like he had to pay $300 for so-and-so's bumper or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's not a zero falling off your check. You're not making $10,000 <laughs> or $1,000. I know. Cause he was like, I had to charge you extra 200 or yeah. take off 200. It's like, wait, what? 
Two hundred thousand dollars. But I get it. Yeah, but also that guy was just um, snaking him or whatever. Yeah, I said he was big timing him. Yeah, there you go. But he was snaking him as well. Okay, big <laughs> snaking him. <laughs> <laughs> that's a different. That's a different episode. Oh, whoops. <laughs> All right, a lark calls Stefan. A lady walks up to him. Caroline walks up to a lark. What? It's like in each other's places. Oh, a lady walks up to Stefan, who yeah. turns out to be... I forget. But I don't we'll, know her name either. We'll, but we'll get to her. Yes. All right, Caroline walks up to Alaric. Uh, While he's on the phone with Stefan, or right after he got off the phone. I think it's right yeah, after something he like got that. Okay, so Caroline is trying to do a spell to get rid of the magic force field. Mm-hmm. Of the town, yeah. Alaric, Alaric gave... <laughs> <laughs> Eric. <laughs> He's like, I'm back, and I'm trying something out. <laughs> I'm Eric. Eric. <laughs> it's like, I, so, it's so I, normal, but it's so funny. I need a secret identity, because Alaric's dead, so now I'm Eric. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Eric, and, and I'm a professor I'm a in professor, college instead of... Not a teacher. In high school. And now, instead of drinking bourbon, I drink beers. And blood. And blood. Okay, Alark gave her a bunch of books. She read them all, Mm -hmm. but she has a new book from Alark. Right. That's like if he had a bunch of Stevies and he's like, (laughs) here's Misery. You're like, read it. Here's The Stand. Read it. And then he's like, okay, no, here's um, Elevation. I'd be like, oh, okay. Check this one out. All right, good to know. (laughs) Um, Speaking of Stevie, you brought Mm -hmm. it up. I'm reading my first Stephen King Novel. Oh my gosh, did we ever think we'd see the day? I was like, my husband had read so many and it's one of his favorite authors and I gotta just do it. So I'm reading The Long Walk and I like it. It's good. I'm getting close to being halfway, I think. That's a really good early one for sure. Mm-hmm. I know. I, you, that was your recommendation. Technically a Bachman. Technically a Bachman. And I read the intro from Stephen King about his like uh, pen name debacle. Yep. And uh, But it's a good one. Actually, they are. it's in production to be a movie right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot that you had said that. So I always like that. You will get uh, payment. What? What? Rewarded. I'm getting paid? Okay, No, cool. rewarded. Thank you. How much? <laughs> One movie ticket. <laughs> All right. To I'll go t- with me. I'll take it. Um, Can I get popcorn? Maybe too? I'll go by myself. No! It'll be cheaper that way. You just said I was getting paid. I meant rewarded <laughs> by seeing it. <laughs> I couldn't it's on it. record. He's paying me. <laughs> Delete the tapes. <laughs> you just you were just speechless for a second. <laughs> you were just actually speechless. I was making an edit point. No. <laughs> uh that's funny. I have the dead zone coming in the mail, and that's what I'll be reading next. All right. Let's finish the stand. Did we already talk about this? I finished the stand audio book. Did we talk about that? I don't that? think you. I don't think so. I think it happened while we were on on our break. <sighs> Finish the stand audio book. <laughs> Ooh, sheesh! <laughs> <laughs> One of the best. All right, <clears throat> we should just talk about the Stephen no. King books. <laughs> no, okay. I don't have anything to say. All right. Uh, she asked about Stefan. Yeah. All right, Matt. Everyone knows she's got a crush on Stefan. Oh, Caroline? Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's trying to see what's up. Matt is talking to Elena. Jeremy is playing video games. Mm-hmm. Elena, like, can't control Jeremy right now or, like, stop him because she's on the outskirts and he's just in the huge house, the huge mansion, as yeah. Ty called it. Yeah, he's still in Mystic Falls. And so she can't, she can only try to talk to him on the phone, but if he doesn't answer, she can't really do anything. Hmm. I have experience with that. Trying to call people, not answering, texting them perhaps. (laughs) (laughs) So fresh. It wasn't me, by the way. Fresh anger. 
Um, okay, he's going to miss Bonnie. Like the theme song says, yeah. Jeremy's Jeremy going to miss her. her. <laughs> That's my favorite part from the theme song. I didn't expect that part to be so sad. Like, it is. No, like it's me. So yeah. good, though. My intonation, I didn't... I think I was, like, punching it in, like, putting in the lyrics real quick, mm-hmm. and I just did, like, the first take, and I was like, oh, that actually worked. Jeremy's going to miss her. Jeremy's going to miss her. <laughs> it's good. I like it a lot. Um, he's... So Matt is, like, um, reading him his Miranda rights? <laughs> <laughs> he's about to arrest him? Um, I guess that's not the <laughs> correct... He's like, oh, dressing him down. I was going to say giving him an ultimatum, but no. <laughs> no? All right, he's that dressing him. That was a vocabulary him. word in my class yesterday. Whoa. And I thought about you. Thanks. Because you gave me one one time? No, because <laughs> of your show. What? Okay. Um, he's dressing <laughs> him down. Da- that? No. Okay. The ultimatum coming in December whoop, whoop. to Netflix. Hey, but watch it. Watch The Circle, season seven, the finale, came out yesterday, if you're listening to this, on the date that it comes out. This is a mid-episode plug. Yep. Also, Vernacula. <laughs> Promo code PD. Start learning the language of your choice, I guess, for now. Okay. Um, okay. He's dressing him down. Matt is dressing Jeremy down. Okay. Also, do you think... Um, when, in, Matt is undressing Jeremy. Do you, do you think that <laughs> in is it Sex and the City or Sex in the City that show? Ooh, which one do you think it is? Um, maybe in Sex and what? It's and. Uh huh. I might have to take that what and put it in my DMX cover that I'm making. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> what? <laughs> We are like three tangents deep. Oh, I know, and we have so much left. On sex and the city? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you think when the other ladies get in trouble, they read them their, like, carry (laughs) rights? No, because one of the characters' name is Miranda. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When it's not her, they do they read (laughs) their carry rights or Samantha rights or the other one? No. See? Sex and the city. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, Miranda writes, dressing him down. But, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Matt is dressing Jeremy down. <laughs> you said this here like six times. He's drunk by noon every day, hooking up with random girls. And, uh, you know, it, it sucks, literally, <laughs> that Bonnie's dead. Or not literally. I don't know. She wasn't a vampire, but... Yeah. But the town is safe. Matt hates vampires. That's not true. Matt doesn't hate vampires. You just put that on him. You're lying. I think that... He does not. He loves Elena. He loves Caroline. He's I think buddies he, with Stefan. He, I think... I think he hates vampires. No. He, you can't hate vampires if your friends are vampires. What he hates is having an unsafe town. Yes. He okay. loves having a safe town, but you know Matt has grown up and uh, he's never he's never had full safety and security. It's true. He this VA beach mom and he no dad for it. and all this drug addict sister. You know. Yes. He's like this is peace for him. He likes it, but he's still mad. He's talking to Jeremy. <laughs> he's still mad. What? He's mad in life in general. All right. Okay. He's saying Jeremy. He's dressing him down. He's saying, you're a hunter. You have skills. You have bow staff skills. <laughs> but he's like, you're a hunter. You got to use these skills. And Jeremy's like, I'm not a hunter anymore. And he loves beer. <laughs> oh, right? Is that an act? If you played back the past two minutes of the podcast, would that be an accurate description of the pod- of the scene in the show? <laughs> dressing him down. <laughs> Miranda Rice. Miranda Rice. <laughs> I think it was almost verbatim. What? Oh, yeah, the scene? Yeah, but I'm just kidding. It wasn't. <laughs> Elena goes to Luke's dorm. He can't help her anymore. He's he's the plug, as the kids would say, Ash. Oh, I don't know that. 
she blames Luke. He stopped the spell. And plug is a dealer? Yeah, it's like the hookup for like a whatever. Oh, the plug. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't know that plug. I only know get the hookup, get your boy, get your whatever. Mm Mm-hmm. He stopped the spell. Uh, Who's living in denial? Elena's living in denial. She's like an addict for the herbs. I know. It's kind of annoying that she has to hear this from him because, like, she doesn't really care about him. Like, no. maybe it would be different if it was coming from Caroline or Stefan or whoever. But she's like, I don't care about you. Just give me these herbs. <laughs> um, I th- Here's a Pete Diction, a mid-show Pete Diction. Okay. They're going to have a intervention, Ash. Mm-hmm. And they'll, have, they'll be sitting around in a circle. Jeff... Vamp Vonderin will be there. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. <laughs> yep. Very good. I see a whole lot of people. I don't know why he's Bill Clinton now, but <laughs> I see a whole lot of people that love you, Elena. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Classic line. They all wrote you vampire diaries. <laughs> <laughs> they all brought their diaries and they're going to read an excerpt. Um... Elena's driving in her Ford Escape Mm -hmm. with Damon, with um, Proto Damon, Hollow Damon. Mm -hmm. Damon asks where Bonnie is. Why isn't uh, Elena? Why aren't you hallucinating Bonnie? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Elena's like, I don't need all these people yelling at me, basically. Mm -hmm. She just wants her mans. (laughs) Yep. Okay, so she's doing that. Then they go to a football game. Yeah. Ty is As there. As planned. Alaric is there. Mm-hmm. Alaric says, don't drink close to a full moon. It could trigger your werewolf curse all over again. So right now, mm-hmm. it's uh, packed down. <laughs> <laughs> what? Packed down? I don't know. His vamp- His werewolf gene is what? Recessed. Redor- it's dormant. Redormant. No, no, no. You made me say <laughs> the red part. <laughs> It's resplendent <laughs> in all of its glamour. No, it's dormant because okay. he has to kill somebody. He has to kill somebody to be a werewolf. Mm-hmm. Oh man, and he's getting so close to doing that. <laughs> you did. You <laughs> forgot about that. Yep. Okay. What was his his uncle nephew or something? Yeah. <laughs> in his, he had a jeep. Mm-hmm. That was cool. Um, okay, so he could, like, go through all that all over again. Okay, what? But if he does that, he'll turn into a werewolf, and then he'll immediately get burned up if he's in Mystic if Falls. If he's in Mystic Falls, yeah. That'd be crazy. If so he, he's, you're saying if he killed someone while he was in Mystic, Mystic Falls, triggered the werewolf curse, became Then it a was a full moon. I guess there was a yeah, couple... There'd be a little bit of time. A <clears throat> couple of dominoes. However, I feel like his dumb booty would do that. It's like... <laughs> Ty. It's the night of the full moon right now. <laughs> Ty, you're drunk. It's the night of the full moon, and you're real mad, and you're fighting a guy. In Mystic Falls. In Mystic Falls. You'd be like, I don't care. So what? <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> it's would. It's like, well, you're going to get burned up. Yeah. I mean, this this rageful Ty just is like, ugh, makes me not like him again. Yes. I mean, did we ever, though? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but no. But, I mean, he was more tolerable for a while, especially when he was um, not there. <laughs> yeah, gone. <laughs> Helping hybrids mm-hmm. in the Appalachians or I whatever. Know. But he does make a good point, like, later. I don't think it's in this part where he's like, I used to have had power. I could do everything. I was, like, one of the most powerful people, like, in the world, which is true because he was one of the few hybrids, you know? And now he's just a regular guy. Like, that would be hard. Yeah, he could, like, lift those kegs. Lift things and be fast and compel people to do whatever. Like, he was just kind of invincible, pretty much. Yep. And now he's like, well, now I'm just um, in college, regular. Ty is also eyeing Liv, like I said. And yeah. Lark says, <laughs> she's, she's, not just, into you. she's just not into you or whatever. I know. How funny that that was, like, such a popular phrase after that book and movie. hmm People would be like, he's just not that into you. And, Which, like, that's so funny. Speaking of 
Jeff Van Vonderen and early mid two thousands TV personalities. That book was written by that rock star psychologist Greg Barrand or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like he had his own show like Maury, but like in two thousand five oh. or whatever, and he had it like bleached. <laughs> it looked kind of like. <laughs> Um, Mark McGrath <laughs> in a cardigan. Uh-huh. People uh, who know what I'm talking about are like, yes. Okay, I don't remember this guy, <clears throat> but I can imagine him based on your description. <laughs> yeah, he had like a talk show kind of deal. Uh-huh. People so, loved that book. I saw that movie. Yeah, I think In I fact, too. I think that was a mommy and me that I went to <laughs> with a young baby. Oh. In a bajorn. Good job, Daddy. <laughs> When I was at work. Yep. Stefan is with the lady he saw earlier. <laughs> <laughs> he has to go back to the garage to talk to Dean. This girl is Ivy. Oh, yeah, Ivy. Hmm, I wonder if she will have a poisonous effect <laughs> on his life. Ooh. They've been hanging out for two months. She knows nothing about his friends and family, but she's from Colorado and loves dogs, and her dad pays her rent. Ha, ha, ha. He tells her he's a vampire, and she's like, lol, you're annoying. Yeah. Cause Which I've also had someone in real life tell me they were a vampire. Yeah, we don't have to get in. Also, that. it was annoying. A lark is drinking blood in a flask. Okay, now we learn this is Joe. He's talking to Joe mm-hmm. from She's All That. From the hospital. They have awkward chemistry. Mm, I mean, you can tell that they're trying to go for that. The writers. <laughs> <laughs> the writers are trying to go for that. <laughs> They're trying to like show they have like some kind of connection or whatever. Mm-hmm. Whenever I now I never look at comments for anything Harley, but when I somehow dip into like the comments for maybe like a show that I've worked on, like let's say like Drag Race or something like that, mm-hmm. the comments will be like. <sighs> The editors were doing this and this, blah, blah, blah. The mm. editors, blah, blah. And it's like, to a certain degree, that's kind of true. But that's not really what's going on. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of factors, you know? Yeah. So so I'm kind of joking, like, the writers are blah, blah, blah. But, he, but it is the writers because it is a, a 100% <laughs> written show. Well, yeah, but there's acting and directing as well. But mm-hmm. It's just but funny. it's different from what your other example is because yeah, yeah. that's not written. It's it is edited. It is, but it's just like it's funny for a, a civilian to mm-hmm. like be thinking about what their reality show, how it was made, how it was made, and like who's responsible. Right. Well, that's only as of late, like maybe the last like five years or so, I would say, because when we were first watching reality shows. People thought they were all the way real for a long time. Yes. And no one and was like, oh, it's it's just the editing. Yeah. Because it's because the people that were in the reality shows didn't have an outlet or a voice to blame yeah. the editors or the writing or whatever. So people were just like, oh, well, that's probably exactly how it happened. But now that there's social media, those reality stars, when something goes unfavorably... Unfavor- They'll just be like, that was just the editing. Yeah. Even if it was, Wasn't. even it's like, well, you literally said that. Yeah, a person can be <laughs> a, a total villain jerk and then be like, well, it was the edit. They put the words in my mouth. It's like, those are your words coming out of your mouth. Yeah, you said <laughs> and you those said things them, to that person in and, that way. And yes, an editor put them in that order that you said them and included <laughs> them in the show. Right. Um, but I, but yeah, that's just different now than it used to be, which is, yeah. just, I mean, that's another tangent, but that's interesting. It is. And there's lots and lots of nuance to every yeah. piece of that. Mm-hmm. And some shows are way fabricated and some are very documentary. For sure. But, um. But the lingo of like blaming it on the edit and yeah, stuff is pretty, new. is pretty new. But anyways, I get your joke. I wasn't even joking. I was saying that, like... <laughs> well, I get your reference or whatever. Yeah, you're sh- there's there's seeding this sort there, of connection. some storyline-ing stuff going on. Yeah, like, he's like, oh, I don't want to shake your hand. I'm a germaphobe. <laughs> and then he goes, and he's like, he lost his game when he died. <laughs> right. Like, oh, what? I died and lost my game, my freaking game. Yeah, also, he's just newly a vampire, really, and it's like... 
trying to manage his bloodlust, and he's drinking blood. And she's like, can I have a sip? And he's like, uh, <laughs> um, no. Like, why? Yeah, I'm a germaphobe, I guess. Or would be like, no, I'm sick. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. What else? What other reason would you say to not share a drink? I don't share drinks. That's another yeah. thing people say, I guess. Mm-hmm. But he does definitely get awkward. He should give her a sip and be like, it's a uh, Bloody Mary. <laughs> <laughs> then she'd be like, well, it just tastes like blood. And you could be like, well, I think her name was Mary. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That is good, but you couldn't have made a less ugly face if you were delivering it. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good thing this isn't a video podcast. Oh my gosh, I would hate if this was a video <laughs> podcast. <laughs> I mean, our so studio much. looks very professional. I'm always in where, my pajamas. Where even is our pug? On the couch. I'm going to get her. Okay. Uh, I'll vamp for a minute <laughs> while you're over there. Hmm. It's all about the, the pug in the... Song. Yes, in the theme song, there are two pug snores because I had to pay homage to the third host of this show, which is a pug that snores. She's walking over here, She's not, not of her own volition. And we, this is our second pug host, by the way. Yep. We've always had a pug host. Where are you going? Come back. And Ash is wearing pug pants. See? I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> Um, Lay down. Yeah, but we're in a professional video, uh, studio, and we have full video capability, but... We don't use it. We're not, we are not going to use it. Fully soundproofed. <laughs> yep, except... And we bring in this pug to snore in the booth. <laughs> Just for fun. And I edit it in, actually. <laughs> <laughs> At random times. There also, my go. sniffles I edit in. <laughs> <laughs> People like this show. <laughs> I'm telling the person listening to you like this episode 120 or whatever. Yeah, you like this. You like this. You're <laughs> listening to it on purpose. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Elena is driving. She wants blood. She sees a girl who has pulled over. I think it's interesting when she talks about blood all this time. She's like, I'm so thirsty. But I also feel like they talk about being hungry for blood or thirsty. Mm. I was like, is it thirsty or hungry? Well, I've heard of the hunger and I've heard of the thirst. Right. In reference. This, uh, I want to... I don't know. It just stood out to me anyways. Move on. Mm. Yep. Okay. She sees a girl who has pulled over. This girl is from New York. Mm -hmm. She's going to Mystic Falls. Elena bites her and starts sucking. (laughs) And um, Damon is in the car. Damon says, you're going to kill her. And I said, I wonder if Elena jumped from those trees. (laughs) Yeah. So late, probably. (laughs) They didn't talk about it since then. No, you you really forget about the cold open until you see Elena near the woods with this girl. And you're like, oh. The thing is, though, I guessed that. And then within 30 seconds, they were like, oh, you were the one. Yeah. So... I don't know. I guess I was just an active watcher yeah. that was getting the, that's the how, hints. That's how it's supposed to go. Uh, Elena lets her go, and she runs, and Elena can't go after her because of the border. And then Caroline's there all of a sudden. Which the- is really bad because they usually when they attack someone like that, they will either kill them all the way or compel them. Oh, yeah. But this girl is not compelled <laughs> and running into <clears throat> Mystic Falls after being attacked by a vampire. No, it's like um, it's like the beginning of the stand, Ash. Oh man, okay, <laughs> don't tell us. <laughs> or, the beginning of the troop, by Nick Cutter that I'm reading right now. <sighs> these people are running into these places, causing a bunch of stir. I think it's the beginning of a lot of things. Okay. Yeah, it's like, is this this girl <laughs> running into Mystic Falls, or a friggin' domino being knocked over? <laughs> You tell me. All right. I didn't want to get into it then, seriously. (laughs) Okay, why is Caroline there? Why is Caroline there, I said? Because they're going to the football game. Oh, she just drove by? She wasn't in the car, was she? With Damon? No. She's just there all of a sudden. (laughs) Wait, where was she just before? With Alaric. 
At the grill, probably. Oh, no. Oh, because they, no, were, they the, were talking at, at the diner. No, no, no. They were talking and they were like, where is Elena? She, right, wasn't that what they were started making connections at the tailgate party? And then oh, I, I, I think uh, Caroline went looking for I her. I think she hasn't even been there yet. Stefan didn't say goodbye to Caroline. Last she was at, she was at that diner near Whitmore or whatever. Right, but then she was. They were finding out that like Elena was being weird. Okay. Anyway, Caroline accuses Elena of being the border lurker. Yeah, you're the border lurker. The herbs give her the munchies, aka the suckies. <laughs> yeah, true. Elena <laughs> tells Caroline about hallucinating her dead boyfriend. Yeah, now this makes all sense to Caroline why Elena's been acting like everything is chill. She couldn't handle grieving, so she turned to drugs. Mm-hmm. She says Caroline and Stefan aren't dealing well either. Picnics with mom and running away? Mm-hmm. What's the diff? <laughs> yeah, everyone is struggling. But the last time Elena had serious grief... <laughs> She turned off her humanity, and that was horrible. So maybe drugs was a better choice. I don't know. Or a third thing. <laughs> All right. Caroline says Forbes will fix everything with the girl who ran into the town. So you go hide. Uh-huh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Pete, come on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Elena gets in the Ford Escape. Mm-hmm. Damon is in there. He holds her hand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is a type of Matt is training, <laughs> but training. He's running around with his little friends. The girl with the bite neck says, please help me. Forbes rolls up, get her to the hospital. Okay, so Matt and Forbes are covering for her. But yeah, she Matt, keeps being like, there's a girl with fangs. She bit my neck. And Matt's like, oh, it was a dog. But uh-huh. Matt was with his running club and trip is a guy that's in the club and he's worried it was a vampire bite nice trip see you next fall <laughs> yep that's what he did trip Stefan is at his cabin with some brew dogs he lives in the cabin he's getting some beers this house that he's in in this scene reminds me of the house that Stefan and Elena are in when Elena has the I think it's Elena, has the premonition that they're married and they have kids and stuff. Like, oh, because, like, Stefan makes her have... I think Stefan makes her have the memory. Oh, I can't remember the exact details. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> but it looks like that moment where they're envisioning their life together married with kids. Oh, I like think... Like, before... I think it was before she got turned to a vampire. Now that you're saying that, I think it looks more like that hotel room where Catherine took her shirt off pretending she was Elena. No, it doesn't look like that to me. No. But whatever you're talking about looks like the thing at the end that we'll get to. Uh, okay. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like I'm like, they've used the set. Mm. Maybe they shot it from a different angle. Mm-hmm. Alright, he gets phone calls from Elena and ignores them, but then he answers. <laughs> right? Yeah. He does. Elena needs info. She's having a hard time. Yeah, she needs some reassurance. She can't live forever without Damon. Stefan has moved on. Which is surprising to hear as a viewer and Elena. Because you think that he's there to find out that he, witch. the witch. And he's like, actually, I moved on and it's not going to happen. <laughs> But when he tells, tells this girl he's a vampire and she doesn't react the way he expects to, he looks a little disappointed. Mm. And now he's like, I've given up, which it's like, how long ago did you give up? An hour ago when you bought these beers and you brought them <laughs> home or two he's, months ago? He's like, I've really given up. I'm going to drink six beers. <laughs> Alone. <laughs> All right, back at the football game, Ty and Caroline talk about Elena's drug problem. Ty is steamed at Luke, but it's a full moon or almost a full moon, (laughs) I said. (laughs) Sarah is the girl who ran in to Mm. the 
Mystic Falls. Matt drove her to the border. He tells her everything about uh, what? He wants to protect people like us. Yeah. Okay, Matt drives he's her out. To, he's going to co- get her compelled, but he's mm. like trying to make her feel like a sense of security, which mm. he does really want to protect like humans. Mm-hmm. But he's like, and I've died, and I've come back to life, and yeah. that, oh, that whole rant. He tells her all that stuff. But it's like, I'd be like, this is not making me feel safe. I know. <laughs> if you're this girl, you're just kind of like, I'm just driving from freaking New York. Mm-hmm. I'm in Virginia. People are biting me. Yeah. She doesn't know vampires exist. And now this guy's kidnapping me and telling me he wants to protect people like this because he's been killed. killed. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I, I drove into crazy town. I still feel weird. <laughs> Ty, Caroline is there. Okay, Ty is looking for Luke. Ty is getting mad. He grabs Luke's neck. Clark walks up. He grabs Luke's neck by like by like his Adam's apple. Adam, that like his vocal box or whatever. He That's stops like, him. Crazy. I said, a lark is a disciplined daddy now. I know. He's just like, oh, Caroline, read the book. Oh, Stefan, talk on the phone. <laughs> He's always been like. But the you know, adult figure for these teens, though. You know what I thought, though, is that he was more, he broed down with Damon, and right. now Damon's not around. Mm-hmm. So now I was like, I gotta watch these teens, Littles. basically. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Which the nice person who <laughs> DM'd us told us how old Stefan and Damon were. Yeah. Steph, they're like, Stefan's 18 and Damon's like 27. And then they say something crazy like that. 25 and 17, I believe. 20, which Damon is the younger and one. 17. They were like, I think that they're exhausted at how bad we are at knowing this. Which, guess what? We're still bad at I it. know. But it's fine. I'm not. I'm never good at numbers anyways, so. But Damon's the I'm, younger uh, one? No. Oh, okay. So he's way older. Yeah. Okay, so that makes more sense. Like, he's more in a lark's range i guess even though a lark is you like really his, didn't know that stefan was younger than Dan. i don't think about i don't even think about them as brothers really because <laughs> they're two different actors who are like the same age oh my gosh even brothers bond you don't think of them as brothers they have a bond like brothers that's the point in in, in real, real life, life yeah i think about them in real life okay well a lark is Ar- Alaric was buddies with Damon, yes. Yeah. And so his buddy is gone, and now he's just like a father figure to these people. Right. Yeah, that is true. But That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, how did you think Damon was younger than stuff? Because I remember him being like a little boy in the flashbacks, but still being playing himself. Yeah, I know. They're so cute. I love the flashbacks. I hope this person DMs us again and is like, you're still wrong. <laughs> yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Pug snores, th- thankfully. Yep. Elena is still taking the herbs. She's like a uh, Cheech and Chong out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, listen, she wasn't going to get any more herbs, but if someone was going to be like... You need to stop. You need to move on. I'd be like, well, I have to say... I would also be like, well, I have to do it one more time so I could say goodbye. Because in her mind, it really is like she's been hanging out with them. And she really didn't say goodbye. Even though we saw their goodbye scene in the finale. Mm-hmm. I feel like it would be hard to just be like, all right, well, I'm not doing that anymore. When you're like literally seeing the person. Right. Yeah, even though... You have to like trick your mind that you... Seen, it's seen a fake version of the person. I know, but I think you'd have to still like have that fake goodbye. I know, but I think more from like the drug aspect, she she's just not gonna throw some away. She's gonna finish her friggin' stash. That's also true. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Damon appears. You're not real. She's conflicted. <laughs> it makes me reckless to see you. Why am I here? You want to move on? I said his hair looks good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Elena says, thank you for saving Stefan and bringing back Alark and Tyler. She's just, you know, purging mm-hmm. the emotion. Yeah. She's trying to get it off her chest and feel like she never got to thank him. She was just so sad. This is the last time I'll see you. This is goodbye, Damon. Mm-hmm. Pete Diction, no it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> she has to let go. They smooch. He's still there. She's done doing the drugs. 
<laughs> Drugs. <laughs> <laughs> she throws her candles around, breaks some stained glass. She yeah. cries down the wall again, remember? <laughs> yeah. I think we were just talking about it in real life when we were watching it, that she cried down the wall. Yeah, because it was also referenced in something else we were watching or talking about lately, and they were like, you know the scenes where people cry down the wall? And yeah. we were like, we just saw that. Mm-hmm. All right, Ty is working out. Liv walks up and calls him a juice box cliche. <laughs> <laughs> she sticks up for Luke. Ty sticks up for Elena. Says people died because of Luke. Um, I lay off my brother. Yeah, Liv is not having it. Hey, do we know that Luke and Liv are and twins? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Ty is dealing with not being able to compel people mm-hmm. and be strong. Bug snores. Caroline can't get in touch with Stefan. He's listening to her message on the phone. Mm -hmm. Elena's sniffing shirts. (laughs) I know. (laughs) I like that it's just a black (laughs) t-shirt. Because we know he wears those. He does. And so are you right now. (laughs) And so am I. Hey. Weird. Hey. You want to sniff my shirt? (laughs) Mm, No, I'm like... (laughs) Ty is working out. Matt and Jeremy are at the mansion and it's party central. Jeremy is drinking in the woods at a memorial to his friends. Caroline wants all the friends back together. Stefan breaks his phone. We think he's going to, like, what, answer the phone, but then he just breaks it. And he just, like, pushes it with his thumb and it breaks. All right, we're so close, Ash. Okay. This is a jumbo tonight, but there's more (laughs) after this. Anyway, uh, Elena and Alaric, she asks how he's dealing with coming back to life and being a vampire. Mm-hmm. And he he does a little speech. He gets the Damon speech. Yeah. My ex-girlfriend is married to a pediatrician in Alaska. Is that Dr. Fell? He hates everything about being a I was vampire. yawning, but I shook my head yes. <laughs> <laughs> so does Elena. Uh, except she likes the good part, that love can be eternal, but now that Damon is dead... It's not. There's a Damon-shaped hole in her heart. <laughs> Wait, there's a size box where my heart <laughs> used to be. There's a Salvatore bro where my heart used to be. Mm-hmm. Hole. Salvatore hole. <laughs> <laughs> she she can't move on. She can't move on. That's the killers. <laughs> All right. We're getting down to it. She wants Alaric to compel her to forget Damon like eternal sunshine. She wants to be eternal sunshine, Dash. I know, and Alar can do it because he was turned by an original vampire, original <clears throat> witch with the white oak, ache, white oak ash steak. Steak. White oak egg. <laughs> <laughs> you get delirious after all this lore, Ash. And too much blood. Oh my gosh. And Brothers Bond. After all this lore? <laughs> okay, Ash, the last scene. Damon is making pancakes with Bonnie. What? <laughs> okay, so my Pete Diction... I love that. Okay, yes. Tell me, tell me. They're in... Okay, so I don't think that they've, like, passed on, like, Grams and Lexi mm-hmm. have, like, achieved equivalence or whatever. <laughs> They're in some kind of, like, mind palace that they got sucked into that light. And for some reason, they get to chill in this spot. It's weirdly like the Black Mirror where John Hamm is at that snowy place with that guy. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I think that they... I think this is them in some capacity. This isn't a drug trip or whatever. Mm-hmm. They can come back from this, but it's not like the other side spat them out in New England or something like that. Mm-hmm. They're in some... Other realm. Okay. Okay. I will say nothing. Fangs, two fangs. Nice. (laughs) I'm glad you thought it was two fangs. Um, I don't know that I would say two fangs. I think it's like a 1.75 to me because it was a lot of like 
just establishing this new time in their lives. But I'm really excited for you to see Damon and Bonnie. I'm excited to keep watching Ash. We're not done. We're not done, okay. What else? Um, well, I gotta do my plugs later, but now it's time for a game where you will have to guess who said the quote between two choices. Oh no. <laughs> one, one fella fought in the Civil War on the Confederate side, and the other guy fought with his buddy Steve in the movie Captain America Civil War. <laughs> Welcome to Summer Holder or Winter Soldier. <laughs> okay, that's really good. <laughs> so you have to guess, is this Damon or Bucky? Yeah, Bucky. Basically. Okay. <clears throat> First question. <laughs> what if I get it wrong? Okay. I read The Hobbit in 1937 when it first came out. Damon. <laughs> Winter Soldier. Really? They would have both read it. Well, this was from one of the movies that that guy was in. Oh, damn. I already lost. Bucky Barnes. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> See, I don't mind being the bad guy because somebody has to fill that role and get things done. Damon. Yes. Could have been Winter Soldier been. also. This is good because they are kind of similar, <laughs> actually. Like, they rely around the same time, and they're both, like, kind of dark and sarcastic. And this mm-hmm. is very good. Mm-hmm. This is very good. All right. What did you call this game? Summer Holder or Winter or Soldier. Winter Soldier. <laughs> Summer, Winter. Mm-hmm. All right. If he was wrong about you, then he was wrong about me. Yeah, I don't know. Bucky? Damon? Yes. Bucky? No, no, no. Oh, okay. I said Bucky first. All right. This one's going to blow your mind. <laughs> this one's going to blow your freaking mind. <laughs> Some girls can't resist my good looks, my style, my charm, and my unflinching ability to listen to Taylor Swift. What? That is blowing my mind. Is that Bucky? No. Damon says this? That's He's- Damon. In a season we already watched? Yes, early on. Whoa. I think like in season one. I should have said what season it's from. And I should have said what movie the <laughs> Bucky one was from. But Oh, man. Okay. All right. Is this Damon Salvatore or Bucky Barnes? Wait, wait. Tell me the Taylor Swift one again. <laughs> I want to hear it again. Some girls can't resist my good looks, my style, my charm. And my unflinching ability to listen to Taylor Swift. I know. I would have said Damon, but I feel like it was too obvious, like, the lead-up part of his, like, arrogance. Mm-hmm. So I'm going against my instinct, and that's why I keep getting um, it wrong. All right, here's the next one. I just went from one fight to another for 90 years. Pucky? Yes. What do you call him? <laughs> Bucky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here's another one. I'm with you till the end of the line, pal. Bucky. Yes. All right. I don't. I haven't been keeping score. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> if I have to hear doppelganger one more time, I'm going to have to learn how to spell it. Damon. Yes. Okay, good. And that was Summer Holder or, or Winter, Winter Soldier. Soldier. So good. Good job, Pete. All right, hey, we're bringing a new attitude. We got a sponsor. (laughs) We got games. Man, there might not be a game every time. (laughs) But uh, we're having fun. We're back. Season six. Thanks for coming back after a little break. I do have plugs. Let's do it. Watch The Circle on Netflix, season six and seven. Um, I have a short story in a book <laughs> that's coming out in a couple weeks. I'll I'll actually touch back in with that one. Also, this is crazy. Season six of the Vampiti Diaries <laughs> is coming out already. Can you believe You're listening it? It's to happening. It. Yep. So check that out. Check it out. And um, give good gifts to your children's teachers. We like gift cards. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye.